Chapter 6 of the Steph Only Run starts with me not remembering the enemy or boss layouts of this map, so I immediately head down to the village for no apparent reason. I end up trying to save the children, but I did not end up making it in time since I had to rescue Erica to keep her alive. After realizing the boss was basically towards the top of the map, I make my way up there while fighting through the entire army with a stat lowered Seth. Seeing as though paladins ride horses, I don't understand why stats get lowered by so much. <laughs> I mean, I guess Erica is carrying all of our equipment, so Seth's horse must be over encumbered. Who knows? But I'm able to take out the boss pretty easily and finish the chapter while getting Seth to level 8. In chapter 7, I realized while trying to edit the video that I had lost footage of this chapter. So I have recorded footage of gameplay in the background, meaning this is my second time playing through it. Let's call this the B timeline. My stuff on this run is a lot weaker since I did not spend as much time trying to farm XP and get the stat boosters. However, since Seth is still a broken unit, this makes no difference in how fast I'm able to finish the chapter, and the boss goes down easy so I can continue to chapter 8. Sadly enough, I also lost footage for chapter 8, so I'm still on the B timeline as I was in chapter 7. I accidentally deployed Ross and Calm, but I used Calm to carry Erica through the map for me. I make Ephraim's group discard all their equipment so they can't do any damage to the enemy and make them stand in the corner as I continue to use Seth to run through the map with Seth's overwhelming abilities. Even though this is the B timeline, Seth is still incredibly strong. Kyle ends up dying from no mistakes of my own and I continue like he never existed in the first place. I realize I never purchased or traded any Jafflins in the B timeline to Seth, so these mages make this map take a lot longer than it should have but I ended up reaching the boss and completing the chapter without any more issues. Back to the original timeline with chapter 9, we find that Garrick, Inez, and Tethys are stuck in a fort surrounded by enemy soldiers. I first try to head to the bottom to recruit Garrick so I can use him to recruit Marissa and receive the Stam Shear, which is a pretty high critical hit weapon like the Killing Edge, but this plan doesn't end up working out and I didn't bring Erica close enough to recruit the green units before I end up killing Marissa by mistake. I thought that I shouldn't try to retry the chapter since this was definitely my fault. So I went on to just defeat the boss and move yeah. on to the next chapter, chapter 11. Chapter 11 was the hardest chapter so far and the first chapter to give me an actual game over. In this map, Seth gets overrun so much by enemies that they start to pincer attack Erica and go in for kills. This starts a new dilemma in the run where pack mill Erica has now become a complete liability. But I am finally able to make my way to the map and meet up with Dozla, but we can't recruit him because Laertil died, so I end up searching the map for the last enemy and complete the chapter. In chapter 12 of the Seth Only Run, we are forced to play Saleh, so I removed all of his equipment to make sure he doesn't do any of the fighting. I try to make my way up the map while baiting spiders and gargoyles to attack Seth, and I make my way all the way up to the village where you can find Ewan to recruit him, but I'm unable to do so because dropping Erica would mean she would get killed. So Tana ends up being surrounded by gargoyles instead, leaving Seth to have to carry Erica through the horde of enemies awaiting him. Soleil also gets surrounded, but since Seth is slowed down by carrying Erica, he's not able to fight his way through fast enough to save him. I end up recruiting Ewan and stealing his energy ring for the plus 2 strength boost, and now our Seth is looking basically unkillable. I take out the boss and the remaining enemies to finish the captor, and overall this game is starting to become more difficult in how I strategize moving Erica around. I can't just use other flyers to pick her up and move her out the way because she can still get overwhelmed and killed. This is just like a normal round of the game, Erica is a liability and needs to be protected at all costs. 